हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर जितेंद्र जोशी फ्रॉम ग्लोबल इंडिया बिजनेस फोरम टुडे ग्लोबल इंडिया बिजनेस फोरम टीम एट मेक्सिको एम्बेसी एंड दिल्ली एंड वी आर प्लीज टू इंट्रोड्यूस मिस्टर फेदरिको सलास हु इज़ द एम्बेसिडर ऑफ मेक्सिको वेलकम यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच माई प्लेशर टू बी हेयर विद यू thank you thank you actually mexico is a very very important country in the north america and uh, this is the second largest population in uh, latin america north america after uh, brazil it's almost 120 million and mexico is famous for many many things actually and uh, today we are going to discuss uh, with uh, his highness uh, about the business affair sir uh, now business scenario has changed actually after covid we see there is a new world and uh, specifically when we talk about the micro small and medium sectors there are a lot of changes are happening the msme which is a backbone of every country and we found there is a big damage to msme sector so what do you think what are the different measures now maybe mexico as a country as now offering for the msme sector specifically Well, no, that's a very good point. We have. Uh, uh, let, let me just say first of all that before the pandemic, the trade relationship between Mexico and India uh, had been growing very fast and doing very well. Actually, we have been, depending on when and who you ask, between Mexico and Brazil, the first or the second largest trading partner of India in Latin America. We have a volume of trade that's over ten billion dollars. a year uh with india and india has become one of the top 10 trading partners of mexico in the world uh interestingly enough now that we are sort of leaving the pandemic behind those numbers are back again and then this there has been resilience and there has been you know sufficient strength in the economic relationship that it has picked up very fast and we're sort of more or less back to where we were before the pandemic and we're moving on forward Uh, one of the things that we are emphasizing a lot, of course, is how to attract and bring, uh, you know, the, the medium and small size businesses uh, to have a, a play in in all of this. And I'm happy to say that some of them are already involved in establishing that. It, we have right now in Mexico close to 80 uh, Indian businesses. Uh, some of them, of course, includes you know some of the very large names of of the Indian industry, but not only, also some of the some of the small ones, and uh, on, in the uh, in the other direction, we also have some Mexican businesses here in India. What is interesting is that it's not only you know I mean the, in the size of this of these companies, but also the nature of the sectors that they're involved in. For example. the sector that has to do with innovation with uh, digital issues uh with uh, artificial intelligence those are important but small businesses and many of them are already in mexico what makes mexico particularly attractive well you know we have a uh, not only our our belonging to the north american market through the uh agreement of free trade that we have both with canada and with the united states But interestingly enough, Mexico has a network of free trade agreements around the world that make the reach of our free trade. Uh, as you said, you know we're a, hundred, uh, a country of about 120,000 uh, million uh, people, but the reach trade-wise is almost the same as the population of India, 1.3 billion around the world, thanks to the network of free trade agreements. So obviously, for businesses of all sizes that want to settle in mexico and use it as a hub uh to reach to different markets starting with from the american north american market it's an ideal location great actually most of the indian businessmen are not aware like the such a great population like almost indian population which can match where the latin america caribbean countries and the north america so it's a huge population and in that case most of the indian businessmen uh, definitely will be keen to come to that market uh, so basically the most important question is about what may be the offering if i talk about the specifically about the mexico uh, what offering may be the mexican government is now doing? going uh, for the new investment in mexico i will talk specifically from the indian uh, point of view will you please throw some light on that sir well you know there are of course there are specific facilities that are giving to the uh, to specific industries that want to sell to in mexico in 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 mexico we have 32 states a situation a federal a federal structure that is very similar to the one you have here in india 
uh, and each state, of course, has its own. businesses to settle there you know we have industrial parks and uh, t you know tax breaks uh, uh, infrastructure subsidies etc it depends on where where you where you're looking at but what is important here and I think that that's you know that uh, 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 that that tells you that this is working is that all of these businesses that are in Mexico and some more that want to come to Mexico are there, they're growing, they're thriving, they're extending their footprint, they're uh, increasing their investment. So obviously they're doing good, so, some, so you know, um, they're very happy to be there. So obviously something is working very well for them. As business owners very keen to come to, uh, and for that lot of uh, maybe uh, branding, marketing of each country now is doing. And Global India Business Forum is trying uh, our best that how we can help each country to uh, grow in India. Uh, how Indian businessmen can know about the potential and opportunities in specific country. At the same time, see so the job opportunities, which is as a young country, there's a lot of job opportunity. Even Indian youngster also is thinking about. So what do you think? What are the job opportunities? Because the government of India is, has been focused for the skill development for the last six, seven years, and there are really good results. So do you think so there are more opportunities in time to come for the maybe Indian youngsters also there in the uh, region on uh, talking specifically about Mexico as such? There is definitely a great deal of opportunities. You know, Mexico, the, popul the, p the population pyramid is very similar to India. We're also a very young country. Uh, over half of our population is, is, is very young. And uh, so obviously there's a lot of identities and a lot of uh, dynamics that, that exist in that sense. And you know, coming back to what I was, I was referring earlier of the, of the sectors that are now moving into Mexico, when you talk about the sectors that have to do with innovation, with technology, with digital whatevers, uh, most of them are very young. You know, just last, uh, last March and the beginning of April, the foreign minister of Mexico made a visit to, uh, to India, and he brought with him uh, uh, a business delegation. The average age of the business delegation was probably 25 or 26. Actually, one of the interpreters that came with him was only 21, a guy that has opened up, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a digital business that is you know, uh, growing very fast. I mean, th these are the kind of things that are startups that are going to become unicorns in no time. And, uh, and, they, you know, and they were meeting with some of their counterparts in India. It was very interesting to, to see that because there's also this, there's this synergy here in India. Of people are also doing that. I mean, and of course, India is now one of the top three countries in the world with startups. And, uh, and of course, there is an enormous potential there for, uh, for further cooperation, for further collaboration and, uh, and uh, opportunities that are there for the young people that are doing this, this type of business, which is where, you know, where the future lies and we're, we're moving there. It's very important that we, of course, have the, you know, the, the, the big established businesses that are doing you know, with steel or with fertilizers or auto parts, you name it. Those are, you know, of course, they're there, they're very important. We're, we value them very highly, but we, we cannot put aside the fact that what is driving most economies today to the future is precisely those that are in these uh, sectors of innovation. It's very important that every country should promote youngsters. And uh, so really happy to see that in the delegation with uh, foreign ministers that uh, the young entrepreneurs like even up to the 21 age is coming with the delegation. This is very, very important because this is the young country, young globe now. And youngsters should be, this is our future. At the same time, I would like to just uh, ask you, sir, like India is always ready for offering to the world. Even in the COVID period, a lot of uh, support uh, India has extended to the world. Now it is the time that when uh, we want to grow together, India and Indian government is also trying to focus on that. When Mexican brands, Mexican companies, now those who want to come to India, maybe as an investor, as a trader, or maybe they want to focus India as a business, because this is a, a big buyer's market, such a huge population. In that case, what exactly so you expect from the government of India as such? Maybe what needs to focus more in terms of maybe we can uh, attract those businessmen in India, specifically talking about Mexican businessmen, sir? 
Well, you know, I think, of course, I think the, the, uh, the Indian government has to create the, the proper conditions to make, uh, you know, to make it attractive for business to come here. And, of course, there's a large number of business from many countries that are settled here in India. But I think it's particularly important for the, for the smaller ones that have greater difficulties in setting up a uh, shop in the other side of the world, which for us uh, India is, uh, I think it's important to have the facilities that may exist. At the same time, I know the private sector of India uh, has also, has, is also creating this type of facilities. I can give you a perfect example. Uh, Mahindra, ha, uh, uh, you know, as, as a corporation as a whole, has created uh, industrial parks. I, I believe they have one in, uh, in Bangalore, and they're opening one in Maharashtra. The idea is that if a company wants to come and settle here in India, they, you know, can provide the, uh, you know, an, like an industrial park, the facilities with the proper infrastructure, with the connections, and they can also, you know, facilitate all of the bureaucratic work that unfortunately is there that, that needs to be done. And this is coming the, only from the private sector. So these type of things, I think, are very, very important because it complements what the government can do, what the government of India can do, but it's also driven by the private sector, who obviously understand much better than anyone what are the needs and the concerns of other private sector uh, entities that may want to uh, come and settle up in, uh, here in India. Tourism is very important sector, and uh, I think Mexico, the Latin America, the Caribbean countries, I think this is a, another attractive destinations for the Indian tourist as more and more Indian tourists are coming to that region now. Uh, do you think there is any special offerings or maybe uh, some more uh, efforts that Mexico government is trying that so that more and more Indian tourists can come to Mexico? So will you please just uh, brief about that, sir? Well, you know, it's uh, Mexico remained open throughout the pandemic. Uh, we, we never closed, and actually, we were getting still, you know, quite a, a few tourists that were coming to the different destinations in Mexico. Uh, and of course, we're doing whatever we can to promote Mexico as a tourist destination. Uh, Mexico has this wonderful combination of the natural uh, attract, uh, attractions, such as the beaches, uh, mountains, etc., with the historical ones, with the archaeological ones. Uh, you know, very, very similar to some extent to what India has. Uh, let me just give you a, a, an indicator. Uh, India has 40 sites in the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites. Mexico has 35. And uh, we used to be almost at the, same, uh, at the same level up to a few years ago. We may catch up with India again in the, in the foreseeable future. Uh, but this gives you an idea that, you know, I mean, these are two countries with, very, with a enormous richness of a natural, historical, cultural, um, and of course many Indians are attracted to this type of things in Mexico. We, uh, we have, you know, great weather uh, throughout the year in the different regions of Mexico. It's a, it's a very diverse country, you know, from the deserts in the north to the jungles in the south. Uh, certainly the beaches, uh, uh, both in the Pacific and on the Caribbean side of the country. Uh, so it's obviously something very attractive. And now we've seen also that Mexico has become uh, a destination for Indian weddings. And you know, destination a, a destination wedding. So uh, uh, sometimes we're having trouble handling that type <laughs> of thing. But it's uh, hopefully, you know, this is something that will grow in the future. Uh, uh, with, with more and more Indians coming to Mexico. So now, as we just uh, discussed, and you said there is a Mexico, India, the first countries where we are the partners, trading partners. Uh, down the line, five years, sir, where you see this relationship, bilateral business relationship of India, Mexico, where you think it should be grow at what level, actually? Well, I think you know the relationship uh, will continue to grow. I think also one thing that's important, and that is something that we're very keen to promote here at the Embassy of Mexico, is that it'll, it should also become more diversified. We need to, you know, probably have more balance of that, other sectors, more industrial uh, uh, inputs, etc. cetera. Uh, so this is something, and I think we're, that we're moving in that, in that direction. 
uh, as I again I come back to the to the sector of innovation, uh, the di uh, digital, artificial intelligence. That's also growing, and I think that's going to be very important in the next uh, five years. So uh, I uh, I only see you know the the relationship uh, growing uh, in, in in the future, and I think this is very something very important for all of the uh, the Indian private sector to be aware of that you know that there's enormous opportunities there in Mexico as well as in other parts of Latin America and the Caribbean that they should take advantage of. So it's uh, always say that uh, if we really want to make a good contact with each country, the only government can do that. So that the people to people contact, companies to company contact, and uh, organization like Global India Business Forum, as we are in that mission to connect each and every country to India, uh, uh, having the uh, untapped opportunity globally. So we, we also intend that as we discuss that, uh, we can uh, think to form maybe uh, India, uh, Mexico Business and Cultural Council with clear-cut roadmap and uh, where we can, we want to connect MSME businessmen from both the ends. So will you please just uh, suggest ki what uh, more we need to do in this particular uh, council, uh, what we are discussing today? Well, I think, you know, this is something that we should cer certainly continue to talk about and move forward in, in that direction. I think that the, uh, the Global Indian uh, Business Forum has uh, great ideas. I mean, you're, you've already staked uh, your, your, your footprint with a number of different countries. It's a model that we can certainly follow in the case uh, of Mexico, and hopefully, you know, this is something that we can do. Here today we are discussing a lot of good things about the business between India and Mexico and uh, we are very happy sir we are here in uh, Embassy of Mexico having great hospitality and a great time actually you are given in your uh, busy schedule. We are, uh, we are will be definitely in touch and moving ahead we will think about more and more good program for the Mexico for the growth of India and Mexico together. Thank you for your time sir. Thank you very much and all the best. Thank you.